major update on a local 10 investigation. Former state Senator Frank Artillas turning himself in today on charges he funded a fake candidate. Artillas allegedly recruited an acquaintance to help him dupe voters in return for $50,000. And that shield candidate was also arrested. Let's go to local 10 news reporter Glenn Milberg, who has been working this story from the very beginning and is live down with the very latest. That former senator now an accused criminal. He has posted bond here at the jail. We expect he'll be leaving jail probably within the hour. His accused shill candidate already has, and you will see that in just a moment. This is the culmination of sorts of four months of an investigation since an election where voters were duped. Your lawyer said you were cooperating fully. No comment. Accused shill candidate Alex Rodriguez booked and bonded out late afternoon. What do you say to voters? And in that car, ex-state Senator Frank Artiles trying to avoid our camera as he arrives to surrender. We are alleging that November's Florida Senate District 37 election involved crimes. The arrest warrants signed Monday recount how Artiles recruited his old acquaintance via Facebook to quote, confuse voters and siphon votes with a covert Republican running as a no party candidate with the same last name as the Democrat. To use his name to confuse who? The electors. Looking for Alexis Rodriguez. Yeah, Alex is in here. Hold on. What we didn't know when we first questioned Rodriguez last November, that he was deep in debt and had bills to pay and had said yes for the promise of $50,000. Over the four months since then, Miami-Dade prosecutors amassed the texts between the two as the scheme unfolded toward election time. Artiles accused of secretly funding the filings and campaign, also filling Rodriguez's periodic requests for cash out of the safe Artiles kept in his house. These payments were intended to influence the outcome of the election. The arrest warrant shows Rodriguez gave up Artiles the first time he was questioned. His attorney telling us today Artiles cynically targeted and used a vulnerable friend and that Rodriguez deeply regrets allowing himself to be used in this way and hopes that by coming forth with the truth, he can help to right these wrongs. So where did Artiles get all that money? That was one question that the prosecutors did not answer today. They did make it a point to say that the GOP Senator, State Senator Ileana Garcia, who did win that election after a recount by 32 votes, that there is no sign that she had anything to do with this shill conspiracy. I'm Glenna Milberg, live at the jail tonight in Northwest Miami-Dade, Local 10 News. And we hope to hear from the former state senator tonight. Thanks a lot.